Polymath Software is pleased to provide a quick overview video of the new Polymath Lite Android app that enables the solutions to many mathematical problems. A dedicated app website is polymathlite.com. Polymath Software also provides more advanced software for math problem solving on PCs at polymath-software.com. This Android app is very suitable for use by students who are capable in math and have some advanced STEM coursework in high school or in higher education. STEM here refers to the fields of study involving science, technology, engineering, and math. This app can be very helpful in STEM education. Some of the most useful attributes of this math software will be highlighted in this video. Examples will be presented that can be executed and modified with the Polymath Lite free app that is available from Google Play. The numerical methods employed by this app to achieve problem solutions are widely used to accurately solve simple to very complex real-world mathematical problems in education, business, and industry. The general types of math equations solved by Polymath Lite include systems of linear equations, explicit equations, nonlinear equations, differential equations, plus regressions with statistics, including linear, multiple linear, polynomial, and nonlinear regressions. The table below shows the capabilities of both the free and paid versions of Polymath Lite. Note that there are no size limitations on the problem sizes for the paid version. Let's go to a typical display of the apps in a smartphone and select the Polymath Lite application. This is the opening page of the Polymath Lite program and it contains a listing of sample problems which I'm going to bring up here by clicking on the sample key. And I'm going to bring up the sample problem S1 for linear equations. And so here we are demonstrating uh, a system of linear equations. Again, this is a very simple example, which can be solved by the free version of Polymath Lite. Okay. Uh, whenever we have a number sign, or sometimes called a pound sign, uh, at the beginning of a line, it ignores that line. Or if the, the number or pound sign is uh, in the line somewhere, it ignores all the characters to the right of that particular sign. So basically there are three equations that we have here and uh, we can achieve a solution by just clicking the run button. So this then gives us automatically the polymath report and the polymath report first of all gives the uh, solution to the problem then it gives the three equations arranged uh, in, in the, uh, the, the usual form. And the coefficient matrix and beta vector, the beta vector is the right-hand side here of the equations in this form. And it also gives the source text, and it indicates that the elapsed time on this was only about 0 0.01 seconds. Now, I want to show you what uh, kind of uh, editing we can do with this problem. First of all, uh, I can bring up the, uh, the editor. Uh, you can adjust this to whatever editor you're familiar with for your Android device. Uh, I might want to sort of put a space here, so I'll double click this. Uh, let's say that we'd like to change the problem, and so we're going to put 100 instead of 50, so I'll backspace over that. We'll then go to the uh, number keyboard option and put it 100 and then I'm also going to go here take out the plus sign add a negative sign put in a 2 and then times B uh, to make it nice and neat I'm going to go over and take out whoops put a B here all right, so we can actually put the equations in 
in a variety of linear forms. Okay, and all uh, you just have to have linear terms. You're not allowed to use division signs, and every term has to have only one of the unknowns. So uh, this this is what we uh, are have achieved in modifying this particular problem. All we then have to do is go to Run, click on Run, and we have the new solution for this system of linear equations. It's very, very simple, very easy to use. Let us now go to a system of explicit equations. And I will go to sample number five, bring it up, and this is the uh, problem involving interest rates and payments on, on a loan. So this is for an interest rate of 10% for 20 years. The principal amount that you borrowed was $1,000. This would give you the principal, uh, the, the payment, the annual payment that you would need to make on this particular loan. So we'll now go to run. See, these are just explicit equations, simultaneous explicit equations. And so here is the solution uh, for the interest rate of 10%, the annual Payment is $117, uh, and here is the problem source code as, as before. Let's go back to the original problem by clicking here. We could change the interest rate to, uh, let's make it more realistic. Let's make it uh, 0.4%, 4%. We can then run the problem, and the payment then becomes $73. So it's a lot, lot less payment when you have 4% versus the 10%. Let us now go to a system of nonlinear equations. And let's pick up sample problem 8. And sample problem 8 has two simultaneous nonlinear equations, this equation and this equation. Now, the way polymath handles nonlinear equations is you have to make each nonlinear equation a function which is equal to zero at the solution. So this would be f of x then. You just choose one of the two variables in this case because it's a two-variable problem. Uh, would be equal to this, okay, plus 290. And the other one would be equal to this uh, at the the zero of that function f of y. And this is the expression for the explicit expression for t. So we're all ready to uh, solve. We can give it a, uh, a solution estimate as to where the solution lies. This is where uh, you know some good understanding of the particular problem is important. So we'll now go up and, and click on run. And so here we see the polymath report where we have the converged values of x and y. This is the zero of those functions, uh, 2.6 times 10 to the minus 12. Here's another 1.3 times 10 to the minus 12. Well, that's very close to zero. And here's the value of t, which comes in at uh, 5. So here is the, uh, the total report. Let's consider now a sample problem involving differential equations. We will return to the polymath sample problems and we will bring up S10. This is a problem involving three simultaneous ordinary differential equations. This is the format for a differential equation. Each differential equation variable such as A in this equation has to have an initial condition because these are initial value problems. The variable t is the integration variable and it has to have an initial value and a final value. So this determines the integration interval over which the numerical solutions are generated. Let's now run this set of equations. And the polymath report gives you each of the program variables, the initial value, the final value, 
beginning of the integ integration, end of the integration, minimal and maximal values uh, for that particular interval. We also show the, the differential equations and the explicit equations, and we give a listing of the entire source code. Also available is the polymath uh, problem transposed into a MATLAB M file. So this is a, an M file that one can take, and there are options for copying this and taking it out to a MATLAB program to run the same problem. Also, we in the report, we get a calculated a table of all of the data points. In this case, there were 50 over the integration interval for time and the components A through C. There is an option here that will copy the tables to tab delimited data, which can then go into other spreadsheet or graphics program. There's also an option here for mail, which can take uh, your results out in, in uh, automatically into a Gmail that, that you could send to yourself or someone else, or you could use Bluetooth or uh, your other optional mail utilities. We show here a graph that was made with the Android application called Plotin, which is very useful. This shows the differential equation results from the example problems that we have just been discussing shows the maximum and concentration of component B. For our final sample problem, let's consider a linear regression. This would be problem S12A. And here we see the problem. It's to find a straight line fit, otherwise a linear regression to the biological oxygen demand data variable, BOD, versus the time variable time. There are two parameters here, A0 and A1. Uh, this is a vector which puts in the time data points, and this is a vector which puts on the biological oxygen demand data points. So for each time, there's a biological oxygen demand data point. This is the functionality that deals with these two variables. And this means first degree polynomial or a linear regression. They are one and the same. So let's now solve this problem. And we see the polymath report, again, gives us the model that we're fitting for each of the variables. We get the converged value of that parameter a0 and A1, plus the 95% confidence interval, uh, regression parameters including the variance, and the data points are given here that we can use to make a plot. And we also provide the delta BOD, which is the difference between the data points and the calculated uh, BOD. The calculated would come from that expression that we've just done the regression for. And here is the actual source code text. So this concludes our examples in the Polymath Lite package. Please remember that extensive help is always available within the Polymath Lite Android app. Also, help and problem solutions are available at www.polymathlight.com